What is up, guys? We're playing Northern Lights. I got an awesome email from Mad Goat Studios. They sent me a stream key and asked me to test this thing out, run through it, maybe even do a little bit of a review. So we're going to do some gameplay footage and kind of run through the paces of what this game really is. It's a survival game in an Arctic environment. I believe Northern Siberia is what we're looking at. I've gotten a chance to run around doing a couple of little things to kind of understand the basics. But there's a lot to this I don't know, and we're going to just run through it. So I'm going to start a brand new game, and we're going to go on Resourceful. Now, they do have a Wanderer mode that eliminates a lot of the other things that you would normally encounter. And then even harder modes, such, such as Survivor and Prey as well. But we're going to leave those off. We're going to play it on a normal mode. But even on normal, for a guy like me, I still have a lot of problems with this. But we're going to start it up just to show you what happens. Essentially, you're on an island. You're trying to find your way off the island. You have to survive in an Arctic environment. So this isn't just, uh, there's no really fantastical things going on. And we're not dealing with Arc dinosaurs and like things like that. This is a straight up survival sort of game. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Green Hell. Tiny bit. Well, let's jump into it. This is early access. It's a small game, small studio. So any sort of weird buggy things, you kind of just have to just roll with. You know, this is a, it takes a lot to make a game these days, guys. You should know this. And I think they did a pretty good job, but let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Out here in the middle of nowhere, per usual. You start off with, well, I'm just throwing map markers around here. But you start off with, an, with a general location. And basically what we need to do is find any sort of POIs that might be in this area. Now, we have to pay attention to quite a lot of things. We'll be able to harvest stuff, and we have the two controller going, so it'll straight up tell me, hey, you need to pick this up. You need to do that. You need to do this. You have a pretty... Uh, that's a pig. That's a pig. That's a pig that I spawned in right next to. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 You don't piss off wildlife around here. They will kill you. There's a road. Oh, God, a road already. This is good. So the spawn seems to be kind of random, but road. Road will save your life. Finding a road and sticking to it, it seems like, seems to be the name of the game here. Now, I'm picking up some random stuff. Well, it might seem random, but it's really not. Picking up bark because I'll need that in order to maybe start a fire. Obviously, we're in an Arctic environment, so heat is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, sticks are mandatory in this game. I have... Figured that part out. Sticks are like the lifeblood. You will use these things constantly. There's different flora around here that you don't necessarily know what it's going to do. Sometimes it's not a good idea to mess with it. But sticks are good. Definitely need sticks. There's pigs out there, and I don't want to mess with those pigs. But sticks are where uh, trees are where you're going to find all the sticks at. Sticks, stones, and rope off the get-go are going to save your life. And that's all we're really doing is harvesting some stuff in here. There we go. Let's me know I can chop wood if I make some stuff. But right now, I just want to do a little bit of gathering. Um, we can actually make... Uh, I think we can make some stuff already, probably. Can we make a hatchet? We can make a hatchet. Let's make ourselves a hatchet. Let's do it. Uh, maybe we got something. In case something tries to kill me. Uh, you can grab rope. You can make rope later by like tearing other things apart. Um, but you can also pick it off of some of the trees. You can see that. And it looks like resources do like this. They do seem to like respawn after a certain amount of time. So if you get lucky and find a good like place with a lot of rope and a lot of sticks around. If you come back a day later maybe. It might actually be respawned. So that's a plus. But right now. I'm trying to keep track of that bridge. Because that bridge looks like a good place to be. Grabbing sticks, though. And you have different inventory management. You have different parts of your backpack that hold different things, it looks like. Your sticks are going on the back of this. I'm going to fill this sucker up as much as I can with sticks. Then we're going to wander into that town, which I think is a town. It looks like it over there that I saw a minute ago. Um, but yeah, basically, you're trying to unlock different map por portions, uh, figure out your way around the map, and then eventually find a way off this, uh, off this island. I'll be honest. I haven't done too swift. Done a lot of dying. And, uh, yeah. That's been about the gist of it. I know. Shocker. Me. Dying. Who, 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 I, I don't know who would have thought, saw that coming. Definitely not me. Alright, let's take my... Start taking my furs and behind down this way a little bit. Uh, you also have a sanity meter. That sanity meter starts running out. You start to see stuff, which is, uh... Interesting, to say the least. 
Yeah, coming down to what looks like a bridge, and that's where that road was at. Ah, here we go, surveying. So when uh, you get close or think you're close to a POI, you can pull out your binoculars and really scope it out. And then once you do, it's a lot easier to actually track it down on your map. So obviously we can see this, right? There's something going on over here. But now I can spot this lumber mill. And now that I have that spotted, I can back out and it'll say that it's a new entry and it'll actually show up on my map. You would assume that this map, and it is, seems to be that way anyway, you are on a regular map. So north is up, south is down. Same, same what you would expect. But the compass, you do have to read your compass. That's the only way you're going to figure out which direction you're trying to go in. Which is another reason why I find that the, and I think we can harvest these for sticks, is another reason why having or being um, close to one of these roads is super beneficial because it kind of ties in with all of the, uh, what, Mr. Fox? Okay, they run away from me. I thought they would, but I wasn't sure. Um, it kind of ties in with everywhere else you need to go. So finding a road, super helpful. There's other POIs that are definitely off the beaten path, it seems like, but definitely to keep my, I don't know the word I'm looking for, to keep my like origin straight, you know, which way I'm going, it's definitely helpful to know where the nearest road is. This looks like a, like a lumber yard, is what this is. But it looks like, I've yet to see any people. I've seen all sorts of animals, I haven't seen any people. See if we can search around here and see if we can find some. Oh, here's, here's some more rope. Rope's always good. I don't think we can use any of this stuff. Now, I under, from my understanding, there was like a drastic weather condition change, and you're trying to figure out maybe why, but then you're also trying to get the heck out of here, which is pretty crucial. Um, looks like just this one house. It's not houses, it's just this one house. Let's go in and take a peek, see what we got here on the ground. Scrap metal. I actually haven't found a use for that yet. It's fine, let's look around in here. Alright. Clothing. Yeah, alright. So it looks like these gloves are not really any better than the gloves I got. Actually, the durability is higher up. So let's take these, and then what we can actually do is harvest the ones we have for some cloth. Cloth's important as well. Um, we can make rope, but then we also need cloth to do a lot of other things. Take this firewood in case we get a fire going. Um, is there any food in here? Get some food, maybe? A plank. I got a plank. Wow. Good food, though. I don't know why you keep a plank in the refrigerator. And firewood in the cabinet, but... You know, I guess I can't judge. Wrap metal, planks. Hmm. Really just hoping to find some food items. Apple cider. Okay, take that. That's going to be helpful. Ah, medicine stuff. What we got here? Planks. People put planks and firewood in, in the bathroom. I don't know how I feel about this place. This is a little weird. Uh, ropes. Okay. Planks. More planks. This is a house of planks. A lot of planks. So you can rest in your bed to get your max stamina up and it's your energy. It's really, I mean, you can get some kind of food sometimes that'll raise your energy up, but naturally you need to rest. The problem with resting is that it will drain your health and, well, not your health, but it'll drain your food and your water down. So you kind of, kind of have to balance that all the time with, you know, do I, do I stay and rest or do I grit it out and keep going? Because I'm going to have to manage either, I'm going to have to manage one thing or another. I'm going to have, I'm going to have to manage one thing or another. I have to manage my energy or might have to manage my health. And then there's plenty of other things and uh, illnesses and things that can happen to you from not taking care of yourself out here. Doesn't look like, oh yeah, but it's already warned me about my body temperature. Body temperature is already going down. I can pull up my fancy, fancy watch and it'll tell me that my body temperature is going down. Food and water is still okay. Body temperature is definitely going down. So... There's nothing really here that's going to help me out that I'm seeing. There's some boots, which are pretty much worthless. Scrap them. Take that. There's some rope on this tree. I'm going to take that rope. I don't see anything else in here that's going to help me out, which is kind of a bummer. So, hmm. Do we have rest here to get my energy back up? I think we should just move on. Oh, here's a new fire. When you find new things, it'll give you the option to just be able to craft it. Normally, I would have just been able to make 
or a normal campfire or a small fire, but now I can actually make a campfire, which is bigger. Just helps you for cooking stuff a bit more. I'm going to take the charcoal on it. This looks like that's the lumber mill. This way is like a sawmill. And then this way is a hunting place, maybe? Like a lodge? I feel like maybe we should go this way. Yeah. All right, well, let's head this way. We're going to... Yeah, let's head this way. Let's We're going to take this road. If we need to stop and rest, we'll check it out. So we can make tents and fires and things like that along the way in order to just rest on the street. You know, basically just rest on the side of the road if we have to, as long as we got a fire lit so we don't freeze to death. But right now, I think the best call that we can do is stay on the move. Um, also, resting inside of a building. If you're in a building too long, you can actually develop cabin fever, which... Ain't gonna help you either. So they actually figured out a nice little trick for you to be... You can't necessarily just sit in the house the whole time. You can't bottleneck myself up in that building and go, Ha ha, I live here now. Everything's fine. Doesn't work like that way, because you'll slowly go crazy by doing that. Which, at first, I kind of thought was a little eh. But, in reality, it kind of keeps you moving, so I like it. Hunter's camp. Alright. We found some sort of camp up here. All right, looks like a couple buildings. There's anything in here. Close this guy up. All right, we got a f we can use this thing to start a fire. Cooking pot. Let's take that. That's super useful. Is that an arrow? Can I pick that up? Oh, I can't pick that up. Big deal. Rifle bullet. Now we're talking. Give me a gun. Oh, a gun would be amazing. Gun would be oh. There's a research book. Somehow has a lamp on top of it. The book I can read, but I will lose like uh, like concentration over time. So it does cost like energy and stuff to go through that. Uh, right now, kind of worried about food. Light jacket. Uh, doesn't actually gives me less cold. Okay. Well, I guess we're harvesting this thing for cloth. Okay. Um. Obviously, there's a bed and a fire in here, so let's peruse around the rest of this place and see if I can find something. Maybe some more food or something around here. You can't just walk around willy-nilly and hit stuff either. It doesn't really work like that. You kind of have to see what you can work with. Oh, okay. There's a fire in here, too. Antibiotics. Chocolate bars. These hunters love their chocolate. What's in here? More bullets. That's what I'm talking about. Now I just need to find a gun. Just find a gun out here, I'd be okay. Now, I believe I could put this pot... Shit, did I just drop this? Oops. I think I can, on this cooking spot... I think I can drop this on here. And this melt down snow for water. So I won't necessarily have to use any of this stuff just yet, which is definitely beneficial. Food I am definitely worried about, though. I haven't found really any sort of food. That's not good. Yeah, at this point we should probably rest. Rest and get my energy back up. Then we're going to have to go trudging out here again, it looks like. Man, two locations. Still haven't found anything. What we should really be finding is, like, some map pieces to find other places to go, other way, other ways to, to travel around here. Not the greatest start to this. This is a dead end on this road. All right, well, Hunter's Place. He didn't really help me out very much. Let's head back the other way. Um, it looks like there was the the lumber mill was there, but there was like a maybe like a sawmill Maybe is what I saw Let's go back that way and double check it. I probably could craft something like a spear or Maybe even a bow. The problem is, is that I want to make sure I always have enough sticks in my inventory To start a fire with Because the, the name of the game is playing against the cold plus everything else. So I want to make sure that regardless of what happens, I can definitely make a fire. That seems to be pretty beneficial. If there's anything I've learned thus far. Alright, what do we got here? That was the lumber yard where I came from. That's the deer place. So maybe I just need to keep heading. I mean, maybe I just go this way instead and say the heck with it? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. So we're at another fork in the road, but that's the way I came. I'm thinking I actually want to follow this one because it looks like 
There was a lumber mill, but then also a sawmill. I remember seeing two different signs when we left the lumber mill. Really don't want to stray too far off this road, but... Need to keep an eye out on potentially anything that grabbed the eat. Ah, wait a minute. Hold on. New entry. Where are we at? Okay. So we should be on our way to... Maybe... Oh, maybe this is a sawmill? Maybe I'll find something here? I mean, I haven't been whole, haven't been having a whole lot of luck with this. Oh wow! Okay, wait. Wow. The whoa, weather station. Hey, this is busted open. That doesn't bode well. I'm sure, nothing bad is happening in this place. What's in here? Oh, bag. What's in here, apple cider. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me some stuff to put in my face. Important. Out of all the things people leave around, apple cider. And lighters. A lot of people left lighters around. You wouldn't think that would be a thing during an event like this. Um, but apparently. Uh, how can I not? There we go. Maybe I can carry this now? Can that fit in there? Yeah, there we go. Got a bandage. It's only a matter of time before I need a bandage. Food is good. Teriyaki and rice? Oh man, they left all sorts of good stuff. Energy bar? Man, these guys are dumb. And pork and... Okay, alright, alright. Matches? Matches are good. Anything up there? Huh? Another energy bar. Orange soda? Mad Bull? I'm assuming it's like Red Bull? Like a knockoff version? Is that a copyright thing? I don't know. Oh. Oh, well that person's not doing good. Uh... Bar, there we go. Thank you, sir. Dead. I got a frozen key. So you a sir or ma'am? I think you're a sir. Can't tell. Huh. Anyway, get out of here. Uh, do, 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 do. big empty room. Why they go in that room and freeze to death? You got this big giant room in here. What's wrong with these people? Oh, they're dead. Frozen because you're dumb. Frozen with stupidity. It says me. Okay. Lots of bags on the ground. I'm taking all your food. That's how this is going. Jack pot. Give me all of it. Hey, you guys actually leave edible things in the refrigerator. Very nice. Blackberry juice in the first aid box, though. I don't know how I feel about that one. That seems a little odd. I don't really have any room left. I could carry like a candy bar if I found another one. Actually, you know what? What's my what's my health and uh, not looking bad yet? Actually, can I just consume this right here? Bam! There we go. Rain pants. Well, oh, rain pants. I want rain pants? A little like a doja boja. Anyway, uh, I gotta get my way out of here. A lot of food. God, oh, oh, ow! That looks painful. Can I search you? No. Yeah. Not search you. That's just food every. Oh wait, I can take that. Uh, nope. No, 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 take this. Bam. Matches. Got plenty of stuff to start a fire with. Uh, do I have a scarf? I have a velvet scarf. This scarf is better. She'll take the scarf. She'll destroy this scarf. Would have thought there would have been more to this place. Like something the. Help me get the hell out of here. There's a weather station, for God's sake. I haven't seen anything else in here that jumps out at me like I need this. So I feel like it's probably time to leave. Which is a bit of a bummer. But, man, three strikes, man. There's nothing in here either. Nothing. What kind of hat is this? Is a hat hat? Can I just take this? Oh, no. This wool beanie. But... That hat makes me more warm, so I'm all about that one. Uh, I already checked these. Man, what a bummer this place kind of turned out to be. Thought it was going to be really helpful. Turns out it's not. Balls. Alright, well. Oof. I came in through that gate. Does this gate have a road to it? Of course not. That doesn't make too much sense. Well, see, that still doesn't answer my question, though. Because I feel like there was a, another place still. 
I remember an emblem on a sign that looked like a saw. But not... Oh, man. This sucks, but I think I have to backtrack my steps. Alright, this... was the logging cabin. Man, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time. Um, that's the deer. That is a saw. That is logging place. So this has to lead to another POI in this place. Man, okay. I mean, I found four of them already, but that means there's got to be another one somewhere. Okay. Basically, uh, I feel like I need to find another map piece before I start moving out of this area, right? And I'm nervous about just going into another area because what I found is that you can't... It's really easy to get lost because you don't have that little bit of a map to kind of show you where you need to go or where you could go. It's really, 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 really hard to figure out what you're doing when you get outside of this area. Now, what I should find is a piece of map that will go somewhere next to me. And that way I can kind of use that as a reference. Figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Right now, I think right now we just need to hoof it again. I'm worried about my energy getting low, but I'm also, I've been outside for a long time, so I'm assuming the cold's going to kick in here soon. I found a couple pieces of items or pieces of clothing that'll bump my cold resistance up, but let's be real out here. It's only going to last so long. Oh, oh yeah. Hypothermia. Kicking in. What's our temp looking like? Oh, I didn't want to have to stop. Let's go a little bit further. I mean, I have all the stuff to turn to start a fire like right here, right now. So I need to, I can. But I'm going to try to wear this out as long as I can. Plus, my energy is starting to get a little low. As you notice, that max energy also dictates my max stamina. I can only run for so long before I got to stop again. That's not good. Plus, I don't see anything out in front of me but a tree way out there. Which is not good at all. I'm gonna keep huffing it a little while longer, though. What's my temperature? We're still at three. Still at three. We get down to two, I'm gonna have to. Hypothermia will definitely kill you out here. You can get infections, you can get uh, all, all sorts of other stuff going on wrong with you medically if you don't stay on top of that stuff. Yeah, we're at two. I don't see anything going on around here, so we're just going to have to stop and make this campfire now so I don't freeze to death. And this is why I said keep the sticks. It's going to cost 14 sticks to make this. 14. Uh, can I use cloth? No, I can't. All right. Um, shit. What'd I just do? I just dropped... I just dropped something, didn't I? Balls. Uh, throw this can on the ground. Harvest this. Put this here. Start the fire. Okay. Oh! oh I didn't know I was standing on the fire. Damn it. That hurt. Burnt myself. Done burned it. I feel like an idiot now. All right, let's, uh, let's get some food, get some water in our system here. Burns infection risk. Shit. All right, well, I think what we probably should do, combat this. Take some of those antibiotics. All right. That should help with that. The burns. Probably make a bandage. See if that helps me at all. Hope so. Really, I'm worried about my temperature now. As soon as the temperature gets back up, we're going to start running again. Man, I don't see anything. Usually you find these like stumps growing up where you can get the sap out of the tree and then you can make like a sap dressing, which might be the cure for the burn. I don't know. Kind of just have to let this thing run its course and find out. Oof. Hopefully that burn, that burn thing goes away. That's got me a little concerned. A little concerned. Alright, so we got three ways to go this way. So, looks like some sort of tractor place there, sawmill there. Alright, so let's check the sawmill out first, and then it looks like we're going down that road. 
Really, I just want to find as many POIs as I can. Try to advance where I need to go. This looks like a sawmill. Hopefully they have more in here than just planks. That would piss me off a little bit. It's a pretty big place, though. Pretty big place, Lou. Is anybody in here? I'm talking to myself. Instant noodles, huh? Oh, I can't pick this up. My food is full. It's a horrible thing to have going on, right? Oh, chicken noodle soup. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to start eating some of this stuff. I can't carry it. I was looking at something out of it. Food and paper, instant noodles, you know, all sorts of just shit just laying around. Y'all made a mess. Is it vodka? It's vodka. Don't think boozing it up out here is going to be too good of an idea. I have plenty of cloth on me, too. I'm actually, like, supplies wise, I'm doing pretty good. It's just not knowing where I need to be going. That's really been hard to deal with. Work pants, huh? My left are work pants here. There is... What kind of sawmill is this? There's vodka everywhere. Man. I'm waiting to see one of those signs, you know, such and such amount of days since the last accident. It's gonna be like 47 seconds. Bunch of alkies in here cutting lumber. That's probably... Ooh, hey, map piece here. Bam. What do we find? The Bower Pla... Oh, hey, I'm in the plateau. That's where I'm at. Oh. Well, shit. That's that kind of worked out. Let's go find out what's on the roof. And you climb ladders really weird. There's lots of snow on the roof. Very uneven. Like somebody's been up here running around. A little unprofessional, but I guess when you're drunk at the sawmill, this is what you do. Made sense why there was so much painkiller laying around. Everybody drinking all a bunch of hung People are nuts. So how bad accidents happen. You can't really make any constructions that I've seen. If I needed to rest, I could make like different different versions of like a tent to basically sleep in out here, make a fire next to it. But there's no way to actually make any sort of structures. At least not that I'm aware of. It seems like you do learn a few things like as you find a new resource or as you find a new thing, you can learn how to make other stuff. But by and large, it doesn't look like there's any way to make any large structures. You can make some storage places, things like, uh, you know, things that hold sticks, things that hold logs and things like that to make your life a little bit easier, but that's about it. All right, looks like there's housing there and tractor this way. Uh, where are we? So, mm, that's north. Okay. So I'm thinking tractor place. Oh god, I don't know. Maybe houses. Let's do houses. Let's do houses. We'll do houses, and then we'll come back. I do have to say, for being really, really cold and crazy freezing, you're gonna die temperature out here. Times like right now, when I'm not dodging animals that are trying to kill me, it's actually pretty peaceful. Pretty out here. Pretty out of here. I could I could stay out here. Provided I actually had like running electricity and heat, internet, somebody that would deliver groceries. That would be a plus. Chance of me making it out of here on my own in real life is uh slim to none. You think I would have found at least one person that wasn't completely frozen to death out here somewhere. Not so much. Fishing rod. Oh, yeah, that's right. You could fish in here. I don't I haven't tried it yet. I don't really know how worth it it might be to even try bothering. Can't imagine I would be that great at fishing. I really have the patience for it. This was dynamite. I fish with dynamite probably pretty well. That toilet has seen better days. Seen better days. This place needs a plumber. Needs a plumber. Well, it also needs a lot of other things like temperature control, but plumber would be useful. Leather gloves. No, 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 no. Ah, look at that. It is snowman. It's adorable. At least the snowman survived. Something survived out here. Look. Look's not going to help me. Uh, book in the refrigerator? What's books in the refrigerator? I wonder why you're all dead. Everyone's dead out here because you put books in refrigerators. Chow down on 
vodka diet to sawmill. Surprise anybody's still alive around here. Probably not. I don't even know where I fall into this category. I hope I wasn't one somebody that worked in the sawmill. Really, really hope that wasn't the case. Which way did I come in from? I like I came in from this way. Worst case, I got a cooking pot. I can stop and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Worst case, I got a cooking pot. I can stop and make a fire and warm myself up, but then I can also boil water and drink it so that I can stay hydrated. So, should be pretty good as far as that's concerned. Let's just keep trucking. 